so we are all set up here and ready to rock welcome back to the channel guys it's Gary McCready from HVAC know it all I'm gonna show you a trick that you can check your sparkers and your flame sensors with so stay tuned if you guys like the content like subscribe hit the bell to be notified for more HVAC educational videos coming your way so every flame sensor and every sparker has a ceramic piece around it like this that is the insulator. If we have problems with that insulator, the performance of the sparker or the flame sensor may not be up to par. Weak ceramic, hairline cracks, so on and so forth can cause issues. So there is a way to test this. I'm gonna show you how. Before I show you, I'm gonna tell you a story of a brand new sparker I bought. It's actually a bunch of sparkers I bought. I put them into the machine and they would not spark. You could hear it sparking faintly, but not strong enough to light the burner. And what was happening is the ceramic or insulation was so weak, the electrical signal was moving through the ceramic, hitting the bracket and moving through and across the entire bracket of the heating section. So what I had to do is pull it out and put electrical tape. So what the electrical tape was doing in that scenario was insulating this bracket from the ceramic, not allowing the electrical signal to be dissipated across the entire burner bracket. So if we look at the manual for the Emerson White Rogers Premium Flame Sensor, it states right here from the rod to the bracket, it must be a minimum of 500 mega ohms. And we're gonna check that right now. So for this little experiment here, I'm gonna use the Klein Tools ET600. This is a mega, okay? And what we're gonna do is set up our alligator clips. We're gonna put them into the meter and then we're gonna set them up just like this. So we have one lead attached to the rod and one lead attached to the bracket. Now. I've already got this set to a thousand volts. We're gonna crank this right up and then we're gonna hit the test button and see what happens. So these are all insulated. I have on a plastic insulated case so we don't have any jeopardy of anything uh, crazy happening with the, the voltage that's gonna go through this. So we hit test and we're slowly gonna rise up in voltage, right? A thousand volts and greater than 4,000 mega ohms. So we wanted to see a minimum of 500. We are greater than 4,000, so we are good. That insulation factor on the ceramic is nice and solid. So this is a test you can check if you're having issues with your, your flame sensor, your sparker. You can perform this test to make sure that your insulator, your ceramic, is actually performing the way it should. Happy HVACing.